You know when you get a data dump and it gets exported into Excel in an ugly, unworkable format? Then you've got to spend hours cleaning, formatting, researching formulas. And you spend about 80% of your time trying to sort data instead of what you were meant to do, analyze it. Well, Power Query enables you to clean and transform your data in just a few clicks. So bye bye month after month boring data cleanup. I'm going to show you how, so let's get started. In my folder, I have November and December 20 sales data to be cleaned up. Jan 21 sales figures are being finalized and will be included to this folder shortly. But for now, let's get these two sheets cleaned up. First, let's open the November data to see exactly what needs to be done. Here we have sales data for the month of November. In our first column, we have sales rep with the sales rep number and name in the same column. So that's something we would need to split up. In sales order number, when a ticket is cancelled, the system generates two tickets. So we would need to clean out all the duplicate tickets. In column D and E, product is merged. So that is something that we would need to unmerge. Customer first name and customer last name. More often than not, people have either the same first name or last name. We would want to join these two columns order date and delivery date. If we wanted to calculate how long it takes for our customers to receive their orders, we would need to subtract these two columns. Then if we look over here in customer last name, we need to change this to uppercase. Then if we want to analyze our data by order date, we would need to extract the month from our order date column. Let's get to the part we've all been waiting for, data cleanup with Power Query. To access Power Query, click Data, and over here in Get and Transform Data is where Power Query lies. Select Get Data, select From File, and our data is in a folder, so we're going to select From Folder. This prompt comes up so we can browse for our folder, but I copied it, so I'm just going to paste it in here and say OK. Next, this prompt pops up showing us that Power Query has found two files in our folder, our November and December data. At the bottom here is where we have the various functions. So we have two data sheets that we need to combine and transform the data as there were data cleanup steps that we had said we needed to perform. So I'm going to select that. This prompt pops up and this is the first step in combine and transform data. Here is where our two spreadsheets are going to be combined. Our sample file is the template that Power Query will be using to perform the combining of the files. So I'm going to select November. Next we see sales data. This is the tab that is in both the November and December workbooks. So we want to select that. And over here on the right, we see a preview of our sales data tab and that looks good. So let's select OK. This now takes us to Power Query. If you've never used Power Query before, this may look a bit intimidating. But the more you use it, the more you're going to love this interface. So let's take a look at where everything is located. On the left, we have a list of queries that were automatically generated by Power Query. There are two items on this list that are important to you. The sample file. This is the template that we selected for Power Query to consolidate all our files into a final query. And over here is the final query that consolidates the files into one table. This is the query that is currently displayed in this preview. At the top is our ribbon where we will find all the functions to transform and clean up our data. On the right are our query settings, which is properties and applied steps. So under properties, if we change our query name to all sales data and say enter, you will see on the left over here, our Power Query name changed to All Sales Data. The applied steps are extremely important as this is where Power Query records all the steps that we perform. This is extremely useful, especially if we need to refer back to the steps that we performed. And for Power Query to automate this process for any future files that need to be added to this folder like our January 21 sales data that we're awaiting finalization. 
This may all seem a bit confusing, but stick with me till the end and you're going to see how easy it is to automate that tedious data cleanup process with the click of a button. Now the fun begins. Let's transform and clean up our data. In our preview window, we have the column source name. This is where our data comes from. We don't need this data, so let's right click and remove. And over here in our applied steps, we can see that was recorded. Remember when we reviewed our November data in Excel, there were seven steps that we wanted to perform in our data cleanup. The first cleanup that we wanted to perform was splitting the sales rep number and sales rep name. So select sales rep, right click, split column by delimiter, and in this column, we have a space between our sales rep number and name. So we will leave this as space and select OK. And Power Query splits up our data into two columns. And if you look over here, Power Query named the columns sales rep one and two. We can rename that by double clicking on the header and we will call this sales rep number and double click on that and we will call this sales rep name and there we have it. Next, we wanted to remove sales order number duplicates. Simply select the column, right click, remove duplicates and our duplicates are removed. Next, we want to split our product data into product type and product. Select product, right click, split column by delimiter. We will leave this as custom as our hyphen is our delimiter in this column. Say OK and Power Query splits up our product into product type and product. Let's rename this to product type. So double click, enter. And here we will call this product name, enter. Power Query found null values. We don't need this, so right click, remove, and that is deleted. Next, we wanted to merge customer first name and customer last name. To do that, select customer first name, hold down the control key, select customer last name, right click, select merge columns, our separator will be the space and our new column name, let's name it customer name, select OK. And there we have our customer first name and last name all merged into one column. Our order date column is in the correct date format as indicated by this calendar. Delivery date, we need to change this to date format. Just click on this little icon, select date and that gets changed to date. If we did not have our delivery date and order date in the same format, we would not be able to calculate the difference between these two columns in order to see how long deliveries to our customers take. To perform this calculation, click on delivery date, select it, hold down the control key, select order date. At the top left of your ribbon, select add column, select date, subtract days and here we have our column with our delivery days we're just going to rename that to number of days to deliver next we wanted to capitalize the first letter of our customer name if we go to customer name select the filter we see that we have two amy stones which will not be ideal for when we need to pivot and perform our data analysis as we will have data for the same person but split between two different names as Excel will see this as two different data items. To correct this, click Cancel, so we're out of that dialog box. On the left of our ribbon, select Add Column, go to Format, select the drop-down arrow, select Capitalize each word. Notice that Power Query added an entire new column when it performed the Capitalize each word command. So we have our original data still intact and we have our corrected data. But what if we wanted our transformation to take place in our original column? To do that, let's go to our applied steps, find our last step that we performed, which was insert capitalize each word, click on the X and that gets removed. As you can see, there is no column here anymore for capitalize each word. 
On our ribbon, instead of selecting Add Column, we need to select the tab Transform. And if we look over here in our Transform tab, we have Format as well, just as we do in our Add Column tab. So in our Transform column, we have some of the same functions as our Add column, such as Format, Extract, Pass, Date, Time. And if we look at our Add column, we have the same functions, Format, Extract, Pass, Date, Time. Microsoft has aimed to make the functions or actions relevant to what needs to be performed. And some functions can be found in multiple tabs. So in some cases, it would not make sense to simply transform a column. You would need to add a column. So to capitalize each word of our customer name in the same column, simply select transform, drop down arrow of format, select capitalize each word, and there we have it. Next, we wanted to show the month from order date in a new column. To do this, select order date, and up on our ribbon, select Add Column and select Date, select the drop down arrow, select Month, select Name of Month. And if we scroll to the right, we have the name of our month in a new column. So now we've completed all the data cleanup we wanted to. The last step I want to do is check my data types to ensure there are no inconsistent values in any of my columns. To do this, hold Control A to select all my data. As you can see, everything is selected. In the Transform tab, select Detect Data Type. This automatically detects the data type in each column. And if we have a look, everything looks good. Also, if there were any errors, you would be able to instantly see it, as this bar would show as red instead of green. And if we hover over the green bar, you can see the stats for errors, valid data, and empty cells. We've now made quite a few transformations to our data. Remember, all our steps are recorded in our query called All Sales Data. So in the future, when you add data like this to your source folder, Power Query will have the steps to automate the data cleanup. We're now done, and we want to export this data into Excel. To do this, select Home, Select Close and Load, and our Transform data is now in Excel. And if you look down here, it says All Sales Data, which was the name of our query. And on the right, we see Queries and Connections. And if we look down here, it says All Sales Data. And if we hover over this, we see a sample of the data as it is in Power Query. On the bottom left is the data source. So if we bring in additional files into this folder, it'll automatically bring in that data and perform all the transformation steps that we recorded. We no longer have to get that data or clean it up. All that happens automatically. Now let's quickly pivot this data, select insert. By the way, if you'd like to know how I customized my ribbon, check out this video right here. So to pivot this data, select Pivot Table, and we're just going to go with all the defaults, select OK, and we have a Pivot Table. I want to analyze the value of cells each of the sales reps brought in for November and December. So I'm going to move sales rep name down here, sales value, month name, and there we have our data by month and by sales rep. So I've just been notified that January 21 sales data has been included in our source folder. So all I need to do now is select Pivot Table Analyze, select Refresh All, and there we have our January 2021 data. And if we look down here at our All Sales Data tab and filter by month name, and there we have January already included. So all the steps that were performed on my All Sales Data query were automatically performed on my January 21 sales data. So I have no need to perform any of those manual data cleanup steps. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. These three actions will let YouTube know this video is worth having around.